Hi folks, it's Graham here from Badlands Guitars down in Brighton with Joss the Masked Invader today. Hi! What? Hi! <laughs> he said hi, in case you couldn't lip read. Um, right, today we've got a, a right old pair here, a lovely pair. Who doesn't like a nice pear? Ooh, or an apple. I'm, I'm partial to a, an apple as well. We are looking at a couple of Fuji Gens again. Um, surprisingly, or not surprisingly, the same model we've actually got between ourselves here. Um, slight variation on it. I've got the rounded edged body version and Joss is holding the square edged with the bound binding bound bound thing on it, the line around the side. Um. Binding, bound, being bound, That's bound. That's it, yeah, it's it's bound to please. It is. That's why they do it. Yeah. Um, that's obviously got a flame top on. This is a solid colour, but I have to say a beautiful solid colour, this sort of aqua lake blue. I mean, don't get me styling. wrong, like, I like pretty tops. Yeah. I do like pretty tops, but every now and then, there's something about having just a really beautiful solid colour that I personally just prefer. Mm. Um, it's just something about that that looks so high-end. Quality, doesn't quality, it? Quality, yeah. yeah. So it yeah. looks bizarre, expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, like, you know, a flame top is probably, you know, it's harder to source because you, you've got to find a nice top, you've got to match it, and then, yeah. you yeah. know, then you've got to do the, the burst and all that sort of stuff. Whereas with that, something like that, you're just spraying it one colour, but there's just something super, yeah, quality and expensive looking about it. Yeah. Really lovely. Yeah. So basically you've got a flame maple on that. Yes. And they are base for bodies on these mm. with maple necks. And that's a granadillo is the wood that they use on that neck. So a very rare animal. It is very, yeah. It scurries along the floor yeah. in Australia. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and they, they slice it very fine. <laughs> No, they don't know. No animals, no, have been, don't. no animals have been hurt during this video, nor making this guitar. You've got an Alnico 2 Pro APS1 in the neck. I'm not reading this off the floor at all, honestly. <laughs> um, in the middle it just of the, has a tendency to uh, look just, down. Just look down, that's yeah. it. The vintage staggered SSL1 and a Pegasus at the uh, bridge position, which incidentally is coil tapped as well, that little switch that we're both playing with now. There's, <laughs> something, with, um, there's something about Japanese companies that... Um, I mean, a lot of companies do it now anyway, but there's something about Japanese companies that have the five-way selector switch, mm -hmm. but then on the bridge have the little coil tap switches right, yeah. up. You see it on Japanese Ibanezes, you see it on the FGNs, you see it on the Volas that I own, there's a little yeah. switch. Um, yeah, I think it's a really, really nice touch. It, it allows you to have even more. That's it. You know, yeah, what it does. more it, is more. It gives you seven. Seven. Levels, in fact, yeah. Because yeah. you've got, as, as, if you have that as a, a split, as a split, so you've got it effectively a single coil, you're running a, a standard strap. Yeah. Um, but then you bring the humbucker, obviously you've got a fatter sound there, and yeah. you've got a split between a humbucker and a single coil there. Gives you a really cool, quacky, telecaster That's it, yeah. sort of vibe. Yeah. yeah. So, really, really, really incredible guitars. Yeah. yeah. Fat Funk, I think I'd call that selection. You call it the, the Fat Funk? Fat Funk selection, oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. But uh, yes. yes, as we said before, uh, FGN Fujigen, one of the very first Japanese factories, and always, always been prestigious. They've never let their guard down. They've maintained quality far better than the American brands have over the years, I've got to say. I love the American brands, don't get me wrong. Um, they make some great guitars, but they can also make some shocking guitars, and their quality can wobble a bit, let's say. I yeah. mean, they've had some good eras and some bad eras, whereas you talk about Japanese and they are constant, they are good. Yeah. And that's it. I mean, I wasn't obviously around in the period of the 70s and 80s when it came to uh, looking at Japanese quality and stuff. No. So, right. I mean, I'm not too, you know, I don't know about it, but I know about it as just because I've been in the guitar world for mm. a long time. But when it comes to modern Japanese equipment, Japanese ESPs, Japanese Ibanez, Japanese Fenders, Japanese FGNs, all of this stuff, they're all that you never have a problem with them. No. If it's Japanese made, you're pretty much going to be, you're going to be fine. Yeah. yeah. And, and that's why, apart from having a love for the, the place anyway, for some strange reason, um, th that's why I play Japanese made instruments. Yes. Yeah. Um, because especially in the shred world and the metal world, a lot of the guitars are Japanese made. Sure, yeah. So um, you have to, you know, you really, as a guitar player that loves that sort of style of music, 
you, I look for quality, and Japanese are 100% yeah. one of the best out there. They, they do absolutely nail it. I mean, say, the finishing, the, everything about this guitar, just you know you've got a, a, a thoroughbred in your hand when you're mm -hmm. holding one of these and playing. Okay, so here she is. We've plugged her in. We're using a Blue Amp 1. That's a Blue Guitar Amp 1. And um, we're going through a Black Star 1x12 here. That's what we can hear. Uh, but we've got an emulator there through the two notes torpedo, which is a 4x12 cab. What cab is it? It's a 412 with vintage 30s. With vintage 30s, obviously. But you could hear that anyway. I don't need to tell you that. <laughs> um, right, I'm starting down the bottom because we've got this meaty old humbucker in here. So... Uh split quite often when you split a humbucker you you never really get a single coil because you, you get some attraction off the second set of pole pickets there and it becomes almost like a single and a half if that makes any sense so it's it's slightly fatter but this one splits that really cleanly if you just listen again with a couple of chords that's when it split <laughs> So there you can hear. Um, I'll put it back up into single and go to the next position up, which is that classic sort of stratty funky. vintage staggered one there that's a nice pickup to use quite often overlooked is the middle pickup on any of these these format guitars right going up into the neck that's the old Nico Pro so you can hear that it's got a nice bit of Again, if we bring that down into position four or two, whatever you want to call it, between these two pickups. The other thing we've noticed with these, in positions two and four, where often when you put the overdrive on, it does fall a bit hollow. This actually really fills, fills itself out. spanky in that position as you can hear but I'm no shredhead but I know someone that is so by some miracle of modern technology we're going to swap this for that and I'm going to swap me for him okay so here it comes Oh, my God. 
there you go. Which one would you have? I, I'd still have that one. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'd still have that one just because of the, the visual aesthetics of it are pleasing to me. Whereas flame top guitars aren't really my thing, yeah. but um, yeah. it's still um, remarkably Ooh. attractive. Yeah. I'm slightly surprised, you know. Um, I think that's got more of a, a sort of shredder's appeal yeah. because of the angles on it. I mean, that's the thing. A lot of people, a lot of people usually go in the shred world. When I actually look at all the modern shredders, mm. yes, this sort of thing does go a long it, way. It's a fashion, a style, and exactly. they conform to it. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. when I look at the guys that I was listening to, when I, the guys that I'm listening to now, like that are shredders, like. Yeah. Malmsteen, um, and I listen to the guys, obviously like the guys in Megadeth when I'm listening to Marty Friedman mm -hmm. and all that sort of stuff. Even though they had pointy Jacksons, they were just in like white or black yeah. or just block colours. Mm -hmm. um, and I love, I'm a big fan of just block colours. Yeah. You know, not yeah. pretty things. Um, so like, for example, my main guitar is Seafoam Green, yeah. but it's just a block colour. And, and I love that to do with guitars. They remind me of you know, like the the eighties, late eighties Bay Area thrash or hair metal scene. Sure, yeah. Because they yeah. weren't yeah. using yeah, like Charvels. Exactly. They were like block that, colours, yeah. Yeah. like neon colours and really beautiful car colours mm. and stuff like that. So I like those. That's yeah. why I like that. Yeah. I'd be pushed, but I must admit I think this one tips it for me. And the taught guard as well. I, yeah, it, it just works so well together. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. That's just that far behind it. <laughs> yeah. If you're going to get one with flame, yeah. then the Pearl Scratch Play goes really yeah. well. Yeah. yeah. It's great, isn't it? Yeah. So there they are. That is the FGN Odyssey J series, and we absolutely love them. Mm. Don't forget, there's more in the series. I mean, check out their website and our website because there's lots more available. And as I said before, if they're not in the shop, we can always try and get you one. Mm. Come talk to us here at Badlands Guitars in Brighton. We have got a website, we have got YouTube because you're watching it, we've got Facebook, Twitter and all that other stuff. Okay, so hopefully we'll speak to you soon in the real world as well, because um, at the moment obviously we're under some strange, strange restrictions, let's yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. The world's gone a bit mad, let's hope we all get through this safely. All right, it's Graham and Josh from Badlands Guitars saying thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye, see you, bye. Bye.